it's um, New Year's Day. And my friend just rang me and I missed his call. Um, Morris, where's he gone? I could always get mixed up with his phone. Much better. Hmm. I'm going to try. I'll try him again. Where's he gone? Morris! Who? Mr. Morris! Oh! I, I, I missed your call. I pushed the blooming wrong buttons again. I got this bad habit of pushing the wrong buttons. <laughs> Hey? Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. Yeah. yeah. You've been up all night. Hey. You've been up all night working or or no, no, no. I didn't work anywhere. I just stayed home. Oh, I see. Yeah, we just stayed home, we just woke up, we'll have a party. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So, so you fellas are not working today? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah, well, we were in the door of the family up there. Oh, okay. They came in for years with her mother. Oh, okay. So they were still. Okay. What did you do? Oh, I just stayed, I, um, I stayed home. Yeah. I, I just had a big feed and uh, I stayed up a bit late last night. I've got your I got your phone on the way. Right. It's on the way, it's on its well, way. The witch? Oh the I should the little camera, yeah. Shit, I was panicking, I couldn't find the movie anywhere. I, he, he got it on the seat. On the seat? He got it out of the car. Oh in the front or the back? The front. In the front. Oh no wonder. It, well, Shit, just as well I dropped out in the car, and not in really somewhere else. I thought, because normally I put it on a fence post and, and start recording, or somewhere, and then I'll walk off. I'm sorry, I've done that before. Well, I was on a seat when I, I sort of thought, what the hell's that? I don't know, holy hell, Yeah, no, he's a, a, a good one, powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's always handy, I can just hold it in my hand and go in the bank or anywhere. Yeah. And if they can't see it, I just hold it like that and, and record. Uh, Otherwise they'll never believe me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I've been I've been working. I've been I've been doing the work and carry on. I just, yeah, I just keep 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 it going. Yeah, just keep I'll make sure we got our things right. I found a lot more things about up there as well, like a whole younger. Yeah. yeah, a lot of things happened in 1823. I've got all the, I've got more than I've ever had before now. Yeah, right. uh, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been spending more time researching, just double up back on my tracks. Yeah. On, on the years, and I found a lot of stuff in Edinburgh. E Edinburgh, but what happened in, in Cambridge, in England? I found yeah. a lot of stuff of Hokianga in Cambridge. In the, in the university, yeah, they've been writing all about it, about Hokianga. Oh, oh, hell yes. Well, now they've covered it up. Yeah, that, 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 it's been covered up. They've, they've really covered it up. That, everything started in Kaya, mate. The, the, the British, the British, you know what happened? Why they hate Nuki Raw reaching them and Kaya? It's because those are the Kupapas of the, of the Maoris up there. 
because that's where the British, the, the one from Australia, were acting for Britain, came into Kaio, and it was the Kaio, uh, uh, the um, uh, chiefs over there that signed against all the other chiefs. They're the ones that sold, sold the whole place off. <laughs> yeah, so, so I, now I can see why Nuki was like he was, because he was sticking to his guns on who had the authority. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 they say, I was over here, I was in Waitangia, I was in Tahuke, I was over there. No, they, they made the deal there. Samuel Marsden made, he, he made the deal to Britain there, in Kayo. And then they went, they did it there, and they, they kept it out of the way, then went to Waitangi. You see, but the Hokianga was the real British came in at Hokianga and wiped them out. <laughs> That was the Australian ones. The, the New South Wales ones set up in, in Nuki's little place in Kaio. You see? And then the British came into your place and wiped the whole of them out. <laughs> if, you, if, you saw, if you saw the funny side of it, that's how it was. <laughs> now, I know, now I know who's who. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, so you, you, you. No matter what they do, you're still gonna come out on top, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I've been. I'm laughing because I've, I've gone back over to just make sure no one's gonna fucking get in the road <laughs> and come up with their stories. And I says, oh, oh no, that, that, the, 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 the crooked ones, the convicts ones, the convicts signed at Nuki's place in in Kaio. <laughs> That's where the prison convicts, they went up there and, and they forged everything. That's what they did. They went up there, signed, the, signed with the chiefs over there, and then they took off back to, to Waitangi. And then they did all their business in Waitangi, but that's where, that's where they got their authority in 1823. See? That's, that's, where, that's, that's where they set themselves up. Uh, you have to go back to where, where it all started. And then you can't go forward properly until you fix that up. See, they don't want anybody to know about it. That's why they don't like me and you together. <laughs> those fellows up in Mangamuka, those fellows up in Mangamuka and Kaya don't like me and you. <laughs> because we're, we're, we're digging them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah, because the British know we just got our eye on the British. The British know they know they know what's going on, but they wait for us to tell them. Otherwise, they won't do anything about it. See, if if we don't say anything, they'll just accept what's there. See, that's like no challenge. So that that's you know now now I can add that. Add that on to the 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 apostoly. Yeah, I can. I, I don't have to do. Um, I can just do one apostle. Uh, uh, the apostoly, not the authentication. There's two different things. I've been reading it up and, and making sure I don't I don't go down the wrong wrong side of it. Uh, putting those papers in. I'm going to fill it out today. Fill it out online. Yeah. Yeah. Get it, get it all going by Wednesday. That's the, the third on Wednesday when the when the uh, office is all open. Yeah. So long as I get all that done, I'll be happy. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm otherwise I'm, I'm I was out the monkey last night. I didn't even hear all them crackers go off. I heard them all laughing and outside. Uh, Oh, they went up the top. Hey. Where, where did they have their? Uh, oh, they were going to make it. They were going to pierce and they were coming down having some lunch and they said, Hold on, they're opening. And they were still going. Oh, right. Mm. Shit, man. Dawn. Man, she, she flies like the clappers. We went around the back way. 
I, I've been I've been on the back way, but I went through Ota on the dusty road. But she went, she went on the good road, um, the shortcut through to uh, Portland. Yeah, I know the way she drives, man. She flies, man. <laughs> I said, just shut shut your eyes, John, and just enjoy the back seat. <laughs> yeah, I know. She, 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 you know, we got to walk with. She went around the back way, and she says, "You watch this." And she went around the back way, and all the other cars. There's a big pile up of cars. You see a lot of cars on the road, and they hardly ever moving. And she says, well, we'll sneak around the back of Forkworth and I'll come out on the oh, road. Oh, no, she hears you. She's, I don't know, she's, what the hell is she going to do? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you understand why? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, no, she'd be good to have around. Uh, uh, yeah, she's just up the, up the road from me and over here, eh? Yeah, that's what mm. I just said. Mm. She's down the road from here. Yeah, no. Nice. I, I just told her to check up with uh, with uh, Cecile Hood, my, my, the manager for managing all my business, and so they they, she, they sound like the both of them sound the same. <laughs> so I thought, oh, let those women go and bash everybody up. <laughs> uh, uh, and she's telling me about Sunny Toy. I said, do you know where he lives? And she says, where? And I said, you want to know? I said, uh, and she says, yeah. And I said. You know, Tiki Tere and Hungi's track in the Red River, that's where he stays right up the back with all those millionaires. He's got a house up there. And she said, how do you know? I said, because my friend Moira lives up there. And see, they were on a, on a, on a big flash estate. There were all those, all those well-to-do people up there, especially those Maoris who have, have made big deals in the treaty settlements. And Sonny Toe is one of them. See? So they live up there on, on, on that block up there. But it's all those that have looked after themselves well. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw Nader. I saw the Nader Garrett. Well, yeah, well, he's not a wrong man himself. I said, oh, what? He did as you do it, mighty thing. Yeah. You get punished, man. You get punished, and the kid will yeah. come and bite your ass. as well. You see, they're all getting knighted, yeah, all these yeah, people. Yeah. All these people that, yeah, that take everything away from, take everything I know that. Yeah. That that, oh. that steal all the hubu things for the for yeah, the for money. Eh? No, 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 I haven't heard from him. He, he I guess he's just waiting for for the Hui and uh Uatunga Wakamarai, but uh, no I haven't heard he hadn't even uh raw rang me or anything. The only, the only fellow that rang me is, is, is Willie Peter. But I'm sure he's, he's a bit worried about uh, Tahanga Marae out, out in, out in uh, Waiuku. He'll be worrying because that that's belongs to those Manuk, two Manukau chiefs. Uh, and I got all the stuff from uh, Manga Totally as well yesterday. I, I got all the stuff from that. That's, a, that's in. Uh, Arapuni in, in um, uh, yeah, Arapuni, my, that's where my first missus comes from. The Mihinu is come from uh, Okarari and, and from uh, uh, Poharapa, which is uh, between Cambridge and uh, Karapiro uh, and uh, Arapuni over there. That's where this mountain is of Terawakato Whareherehere Manukau. And, 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 and that's, that's, more or less being taken over by Tainui, and I said, no, he don't, he don't belong to Tainui, he belongs to this chief, and they've covered all of that, you won't find anything on it. The same as Wadi Tukuni, they've covered it all up. And, 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 and um, that's why I'm going right back to find out who did what, see? He didn't write the, write the thing up on record. So anyway, that puts us right, but I don't worry about what they say, as long as everybody knows. Yeah, and those fellows in America, my mates over there, they're watching, the, they're digging up too, <laughs> all that stuff for me. They're digging, they're digging more stuff out for me in England. 
Because they're waiting, they, they're waiting, they're waiting for this as well. Yeah, yeah, nah. yeah. I, th I think things will change this year. I just want to make sure, make sure our things are, are, are right, are correct. Yeah, yeah. So far, so good. There's nobody's going to argue with this one. That's for sure. None, none of them up there. I, I don't think Paul Hoonam can do anything about it. Because it's just going to show up. It's just going to show up uh, a lot of things that are, uh, you know, putting putting this country out. You know, the people know there's something wrong, not not quite right. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing today then? It's, 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 it's stay home. Oh yeah, okay. back next door. How's the families next door? All right? They're good? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, well. My, mind you. That's right, Dad, yeah, your little swagger. Uh, it, swagger. It's just, I wish I never had a big guitar, but it's just, I just need to go up late. That's only once in a year, and then back to work. Oh, yeah, well, uh, we, 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 I, I, I just don't even want to even think about it, you know. Yeah, just got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we we got three hundred and sixty days to to worry about now. <laughs> three three sixty days without a drink. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah. of course So today I'm just carrying on with uh, uh, um, the work. I'm hoping that I can get things done today and tomorrow and for Wednesday at least something to put into the um, internal affairs. Um, just go f over things again. There's so many things going on, I drop it and jump onto something else. Um, so I've been looking at um, 
area of Maungatauteri in Cambridge uh, yesterday and uh, dug up a lot of history there uh, for that Tira Waikato Whare Hire Manukau and his Maungatauteri Mountain Bar uh, site and Marae. Um, that's where my first wife was from, um, um, Caroline Mihinui, uh, the Mihinui's Peter Mihinui uh, lived in Poharapa, that's below the Mangatauteri mountain. If I only knew, if I only knew then what I know now, I would have been right into it. Um, I would have, I would have, I would have sorted a lot of things out right back then. That was in 1972. I was there, I was down in Tokoroa. I started uh, as a mechanic in Tagaroa, uh, Kenley's Mills, um, and um, stayed in the camps there um, uh, until I got a house there and a family. Um, so then I used to go to Putaradu a lot uh, and across to Okarari, um, where Pete's uh, family was in Tapapata, uh, Marae. Uh, on um, the way through Hongi Track. Uh, the farms over there, the Mihinui's, are on uh, those blocks of land there. And that's all connected to uh, this Tira Waikato, Wharehire Hire Manukau, the Mihinui's, are right there. They should have been prominent on this Whakapapa with uh, Tira Waikato, Wharehire Hire Manukau. And if I only knew then, I would have joined our one down the east coast right to it. Because that was the time I could have cleaned all this on out. And right now, I'm right there uh, on that subject of Pōharapā. Pōharapā is on the way from Putaruru. You go across the Waikato River on the other side. Oh, no, sorry. You go from Putaruru to Arapuni, it's on this side of the Waikato River and then you cross at the dam, you cross over on the other side and then you go to Karapiro Dam next up up the way from Arapuni Dam, uh, electricity site. So just across the river, then you go along past the Wilkinsons, I think it is, what it is, and then you come to um, Pōharapā on the left, just beside the big rock. And all those rocks are leading up to this Mangatauteri mountain uh, of this chief. And that's the real Waikato chief, right on that marae. And I wish I was back on that marae now uh, to go and talk about it. And they'll all know. So that's what's going to happen at some stage soon, as soon as I get this a story with those three chiefs, Tira Waikato Whare Hire Hire Manukau from Pūharapā and um, Mangatauteri Pā, it's there, the Mangatauteri Pā is there, uh, um, Mangatauteri Marae, and the um, um, Pūharapā is where my kids um, are, are from. My, 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 Richard and Tracy, that's their pa. See, so they're hitting the 40s, 44 now, uh, 45, 44, 45, so uh, that's a long way back. Uh, a, lot, a lot of few years back, <coughs> when I was going up to that poor pa all the time and sleeping up there at um, Peter Minnie's place. <coughs> and uh, he was doing all the building and all that uh, sort of thing then as a governor. Uh, and so um, with Pity, Pity, uh, his sister, was working in Putaru with uh, Carol in the factory there, the machine factory, sewing, um, that sort of thing. And uh, I used to pick her up and go up, up there to uh, Pohorapa, uh, Marae. So that's pretty
things back a few things or two. So I dug into all of that yesterday, just about all day yesterday, and hung his track and tiki tira, all that area around Okarari and Tapapa. That's this chief's land that everybody's occupying, leasing. I'm just telling you on this video, I'm citing this video, that all that area in Rotorua, and the whole of Rotorua, right down the Taupo, and um, uh, Archie Moody, that Archie Moody, that's just Tiriwaka Tor's name. Those are, those are all his, uh, his areas where he had uh, his families. Atia Muri, see, and Maraitai, all those names uh, come out of this. I've got all the history here from Mohi Manaka of how that fit, but Mohi didn't have anything over there. He, he wouldn't go near there. He only went down Pironia, down that way towards Wanganui, he wouldn't go the other way. I, I always wondered why he didn't go to uh, Mangatotali in Cambridge, because that Cambridge, I, I, I even went into Cambridge University and I found all this stuff on what happened at Cambridge here, you see? That, I, I went through the archives and found what they were talking about, the uh, 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 Kendall, uh, Bishop uh, Thomas Kendall. You see, they hated him. He, he, they killed him in the end. This, this, these murderers, that's the same as Clinton, Hillary Clinton, they murdered them when they got enough rich, they full of rich. And all I, I, I read all that yesterday. I was with uh, Daryl Payne in California. He spent a lot of time with me now. He was doing some research as well. And digging up, I was just telling him, go and look over here, go and look over there, go and look over there. And so he's doubling up back and, and finding things as well and throwing them in my box. Uh, now um, I, I can see uh, how the British came here with Kendall. And Kendall, it was Kendall and William Simons that put these titles together for the British through Australia. Right? They were going through Australia. And it was the Australians that fidgeted in Cairo. I'm just telling Morris that in New South Wales, part of the British establishment went into Cairo because they couldn't find a place to set themselves up in their government from Australia. They're going here, they're going there, and every time they went to another place, there was a war party there uh, and no peace. So they got out of there and chased off, chased off everywhere they went. They got chased off here and down in Whangarei, they got chased off there, and then they went back up north. These are these bishops and families that, that were running around. Uh, uh, and and um, uh, Turner, the Turner family, right? The Turner family just left the wife uh, and the kids. It was the husband died or something. Everybody was running around. These 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 Bahia were running around trying to settle on on the land. Every time they set themselves up, the chiefs, those those warriors, going to burn the whole place down. And so they ended up they ended up in Kaya, and that's what I'm saying. That's the kūpapa of the Māori. These are the Māoris that started this white tribe in Kaya with the black Māoris, right? A few natives that got together and put this Māori business together, right? And I can tell you this much. They've altered the history as if Māori were right back to 1823. There was no Māori around them. They made it up. It's a myth, people. Everything on Maori was made in 1945, after the war, or, or during the war period. That's when they made that word Maori up. It never went to 1840. You won't find it on the British history. You'll only find it on these pirates in Australia. Alfred Mitchell and his lot, and Georgie Job. You, you'll only find it on a Maori government, and anything with the word Maori on it. These white Maori. Okay, I'm saying it like that because that's the way it is. I'm saying it the way it is. I'm going back into history and time of 1820. That's when things started here. Legally started when Tira Waikato Whare Here 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 Manukau signed the deeds in Edinburgh. 
they made it look like it was Cambridge because that's the master. It's the master's degree that they use in Australia as the permission to be authorised through Britain. Second hand. Right? There's two sides to it. The first Kupapa Māori to set up was in Kaio. I've got it right here. 1823. They set that up with the Australia New South Wales. Okay? 1823. That's the New South Wales right in Kaio. Now, when the British came into Hokianga Harbour and set up their ship there, that's the real story. That's British here, King. Queen here, Australia, Kaio. Got that? Kaio is just up from Mangamunga, going further north from Kaitaia. And um, Kaio is a little place um, uh, on the way up to uh, North Cape. Not, not too far up from Waitangi. It was in walking distance in those days because they were walking around from uh, they call Kitty Kitty. This you, you read all the way they were writing their notes, right? These these historians, Kitty Kitty, it's Kitty Kitty. It's, they did it on purpose. But when it comes to writing the word Kauri, like the Kauri tree, they wrote it properly. Everything they wanted to write, they wrote properly. Everything they didn't, they changed the name. See, from Refa to Rewa. They're not going to get away with it. They're not going to get away with it by changing names around. I hate people changing names around. I just hate the fuckers swapping names and trying to dupe me and Moai. You're never going to dupe the truth, which is Moai. Stand there and tell the truth. All you people in the treaty claims, stand in front of me on the 19th of January this month in Tuwakamarai Native Magistrate Court. Stand there and tell me where is your title, and you won't find anyone with one because they've made it all up. They have manufactured a false title to this country. It will go back just the same as East Island went back to its original native people. That's my people in Rapa Nui, to Mokonui here on the East Coast. This country will come back the same way. No more bullshit from Maori. Alfred Mitchell, this one's for you. Everything with the word Maori on it, including your Maori government, is fraud. I'm saying that straight to your face because you fellows wrote something bad about me and saying I'm this and I'm that. I'm going to do this and that. I'm going to do exactly what I say, Alfred, and you'll have to stand there with your title and bowl me out of the way with your Mitchell title. You're the bastard that sold this fucking country. It wasn't yours to sell in the first place. That's what I'm saying, Alfred. You follow the mischievous Australian thugs. I'll say it like that. I'll say it like that because your ancestors did all this crap just to make money from the hapless hapu who couldn't understand English. Only your people did understand what words meant. I'm reading right through your history of who the fuck you people are that came here, that's why I'm grizzling, because I can't even get on my fucking land because of your people. Alfred from Australia, the pirates, I'm having a crack at the pirates in the government of Wellington. You all got a power note on your fucking heads. I don't care whether I swear or not. I'm telling the fucking truth that you people are living a lie. Everyone is living a lie. If no one comes to that meeting on a court hearing, in Epsom on Friday, the 19th of January 2018, 
then that's going to be law. Whatever I say on that day is going to be law because you can't match it. You can't match it. You can't say anything because your history is fabricated and false. That's all I can say. All your documents, all your documents are going to get a bill on it if you can't come up and defend it. Alfred, if you go to that meeting, I want you to stand there with your documents and your title and your name to this country, the whole country, not just Tainui. And Tainui stole that Mangatauteri mountain, Alfred, your bloody people stole the fucking name. And it doesn't matter in conquering terms. The title still remains. And that's what the British said. Goes back when the lease is up. If I terminate your lease, it's finished. Because you can't come up with a lease of your own surname. You're the one that sold the land, but you haven't got the title. Where did you get your title from? Australia, not from Britain. How did you get on this land? From Britain, not from Australia. From Britain. There. Yeah. Now, to that over. So, I'm just, I just want to um, say that uh, Maunga Totally, that chief, to the Waikato Whareheri of the Manukau, and his descendant, Refa Refa Manukau, from Manukau Marae at Waiuku, that's right in the township. And there was other marais there and one at the heads. Mohi Manukau took me down there and pointed them out. But they got destroyed. There's a lot of destroyed um, urupas and a lot of destroyed marais. I've marked them. I've marked the unmarked graves here in Ihumato uh, in Auckland and um, all the way down to uh, through Porangia and through to uh, Moamanui, uh, Hamilton and uh, so forth. Uh, so we've gone there, but he never went to Karapiro. When you come, go down towards um, um, Cambridge, uh, you go over the Waikato River uh, along, along past Huntley and the next area along past Huntley and you go across the other side then you travel on that side towards Karapilo village and then you'll come to um, Arapuni um, or before Arapuni you'll come to this place Mangatotori okay you'll come to Mangatotori and there's Pohara Pa where my uh, in-laws uh, live on that block there the Tauroas to Roa, uh, where there he was the chairman. He died now, but he was the chairman of all that area. So I go back into those uh, marae, into Pohara marae now, and I'll dig up everything. And that's the authority is in Pohara marae, and those families, and also in the um, um, Mangatotari marae that's been taken over by Tainui. Your lot, um, um, Alfred Mitchell, your, your lot has taken over to King Koriki and uh, to Haiti and all those lot. They can't say Tainui or Manukau dropped its waka in the Tainui harbour in Auckland. No, no, the Tainui dropped its waka into the Manukau harbour. I told the Office of Treaty Settlements uh, of the government um, um, uh, treaty claims. Take that, take that name Monaco off all your claims. Take it off. They wouldn't because their fuckapapa would be fucked without a Monaco name on it, right through this whole country and the Germans. If you took the Monaco name off, you will have nothing. Take the Parapara name off, you will have nothing. Take the Moai off, you will have nothing because the Moai would put in Dunedin with a crown on his head. And that's the crown that's standing in England, in London, that I'm using as a seal. It's a seal over this whole world and this country, New Zealand. You see? 
the white man over there, Queen Victoria, sucked the Maoris in all the powerful countries. What for? The spirit, the truth, while they hide in the darkness. Right? That's what that's that's why they did it. Alfred, that Maui statue, that's my title, mate, to East Island, and they got it back. East Island has been returned from Chile back to its native people. And that's what's gonna fucking happen here, Alfred. It's gonna happen here. And I'll do it. I'll do it. Not you. You can't because your name's Mitchell. And you have to go back to Australia and sort your Mitchell out. Yes, I'm saying it like that because I'm pissed off with you and Georgia John. Both of you, you'll get a pound note on your head for fucking around in front of me. For tampering with my title. I can say it like that because I'm writing my own history. Because there's no one else to write it for me. Maura Hoffman was going to write it for me, but she's given up because I'm, I've written enough on all my Facebook sites and, and the videos. Uh, so that's why I've got to write my own story because there's no one else can write it. And, I, and, and, and I've got to go in now apostolize it so I can fucking ram it down your throat, Alfred. I'll ram it down your throat, yours and Georgie. I'll say it like that on this video. I don't care about how my video looks. It's what you fellas have done to me and the police here have done to me. And I'm only trying to tell this history the right way, not your fucking bullshit. Alfred, you can have your fucker papa all that, right, but it's stuffed because Moira Hoffman's fucker papa just jammed a lot of you up. I'm not going to show anybody because it's too bad. It's just too bad. I'll leave it for the court. If there's any court hearing, I'll jam it down your throats, the whole lot of you. Mounties, I'll jam it down your throats because you're the bastards that duped this fucking country and all the people in it. No wonder they fucked off with marriage. Because it belongs to Pakia. Your lot, Alfred. Your pirates in Australia. I'm saying it like that because I'm going to help those originals get their fucking country back. Off you thugs. Don't care. In my lifetime, I don't care if I get a fucking bullet in my head. But as long as I'm doing something that was stolen. It's you that stole it, Alfred. That's why I'm fucking ticking it right on your head. Getting in my fucking room. Right? You got that? So anyway, and with Kingy, Kingy is the product of rolling this fraud over. Title in New South Wales. Kingy, you said you lost confidence in me. No, I have lost confidence in you and all your iwi maoris. You can spin it all you like on radio, but it's still going to come down, man. You fucking face me and the real truth of the Manukau's. The real Manukau's in Maungatotari, not the ones in Kuipara with native drivers. You're getting crowned this and crowned that and by the, the Queen, the thug. I'm calling her thug. Everybody that's attached to the Queen gets 970 million trillion trillion pound on your head. I don't care. Fuck. You're going to get it on your head. And that's Brexit. Not Westminster Parliament, but Brexit. That's strained out all you thugs and paedophiles and leave a clean Brexit with this flag. Alfred, you're wasting your time flying this flag around your neck, mate. The only thing that would be around your neck is a fucking rope using this flag. and You've got no power to do anything with it. It's not your flag. It's a contract, you stupid bastard. It's a contract. You go flying this flag around the place, what for? And you're saying now it was 1835 before, now you're saying 1834. Now, you can't go back to 1820. You're fucked, Alfred. You can't reach back where the contract started. You've got no contract. That's all it is. Money, land, birth certificates. All the things you fellas reject is tied up in this flag you're flying, you stupid bastards. So don't try and follow me. Because I'm on my own. Me and Morris Baker. Was more about, hey, she's supporting Trump. Anybody supporting Trump right now will get this fucking pound out of your heads, Maura. 
You're going to get this cow note on your head, even though you're my friend. Whoever goes with Donald Trump, anybody in America, is fucked. They're just spinning over the same fucking fraud of Queen Elizabeth, and he stuck to Queen Elizabeth and Rothschild family. That's what I'm saying, Morris. You support her <coughs> and Queen Elizabeth and Trump, you get this fucking power note on your head. I have to say it like that because I'm going to be blunt on this video. I'm going to be blunt. Left side, Queen. Mora, you're on this side. You're not on this side with the King. Because you came with the Australian, New South Wales, with that fuck up. That was really British. But the Australian fucked around with this title from the King and altered it. Mora, altered it. It was your Russell family that was going around helping to sell the lands cheaply and buy it. That's why you've ended up with all the land. And you say to me, I'm going to grab the land. I'm grab. sounds like I'm going to grab the land. I'm grabbing the fucking whole country. All right? The whole bloody country. The same as East Island got its country back. The British got it back. Give it back to the owners. See? I'm going to terminate the fucking lease. All these lands here, and Tiki Tere, you're sitting right on it. I've got some pictures over here, right where her swimming pool was. Right there, right where you are. That's his swimming pool, right there. Okay? Because I've got all the history out of Cambridge. I found everything in Cambridge University. That's where Tere Waikato for Fala Hedele went to. Hungi Hika went there, but he, he didn't listen to any of that because he wasn't interested in going to school how to learn English. Just enough so that he can buy muskets. See? Buy muskets. But Tira Waikato had his brain. He had his fucking brain. I'm using his brain. I'm allowed to use his brain and his whakapapa to go and investigate everyone's whakapapa. That happens in Japan. You go there and try to, to do this there, you'll, you'll get fucking sword right through your fucking guts. You can't do that there. And they won't let fucking any Tom, Dick and Harry go across their culture. The same with North Korea. America's trying to go there and put their culture in there. How dare they? The Americans go around fucking seize everybody's country. That's the Queen and the Rothschilds doing that. Now you've got Soros and Hillary Clinton and Obama on the other side trying to bash the other ones up. So who, from the bliss of both worlds, of crooks on both sides, going at each other to make money out of it, right? While everybody gets killed, they're raking all the money off, whether, they, whether they're, they're going to get caught or not. They're getting caught, but that's only just a fraction of it. I'm just saying, I'm holding some fucking important documents here, and everybody's so fucking dumb. They can't see fucking clouds from the sky, right? So I'm going to push this issue right through, straight to Britain, because they're our partners. The British Navy is our partner. End of story. The Navy and the military. So I'll sit here with the power note and write it out of how much they're going to get. Right? I'll, I'll, I'll do it this way. I'll fix up this problem with you and just find the debtors, stick it on all these people on this side that's fucking around with the titles on this side. Bugging around with the Manukau's titles and Horitikuri's titles in Hokianga. And then we'll see who screams. Hmm? I'll just support, I'm saying this on this video, I'll support only those people who support me in the world. Not the stupid Maoris that are ignoring me and say nothing. You, you can stay there, even my family, you can stay right there on this side and help to pay the bill. Because these lands, as far as I'm concerned, it's only lease. Only lease. It's got to go back to its original owners. So, everybody on the side is at the back of the queue. Right now, I'll start in the Philippines and start in other countries and leave these fucking Maoris to the last. Only the ones who listen. Not many. Not many. Because they're so ingrained in themselves and their history. I've got a history people that started this country off.
they can't say it that way because they can't prove it. I'm talking they is the Maoris, can't prove it. Because they'll always land up on these Pākehās who fashioned the Maori word into their tribe. See? And it's too far gone. These thugs have got the money. And the king can swipe the whole lot off them. And that's the grab you're talking about, Mora. It sounds like I'm going to grab land. Well, whose fucking land it is to grab? Who grabbed it, Mora? It was your people that grabbed it. That's why you're sitting on the best pieces of land that belong to these chiefs I'm talking about. How come Sunny Toe is sitting on that land of Tiki Tiki? How come, how come that man that screwed everybody up north and stole the kid and the pigeons is living right next door to you? And that's a Maori. You're living with the Maoris, Mora, all around you. The wrong ones. They're your people. They were designed by your family, Russells. I'm reading it. I'm reading some things I've never read before, and I'm shocked yesterday to read a lot more, to join up all the bits of where and how you got here. See? My people were here a long time, and they were dark in colour. See? The, the British never touched East Island on the King's side. The King never touched East Island, the Maui statue. It was your fucking woman that touched them and stole them. Queen Victoria. And then Queen Elizabeth stole another one, took it down to Dunedin with the head on head for Pakihas. Just for your Pakihas to grab all the land, Moira. Your Pakihas grabbed all the South Island lands. With Waitaha is a white man's tribe. Danny Watson's tribe. And put her, put her, right? Put her, Ruka. It's got the 1840 treaty, Faka Papa, on this memorial, right next to Hori Tikuri on Taheke Marae's Urupa with birch, birch, plaques, nobodies, memorial, nobodies, you see the fucking bullshit, I'm talking about bullshit, memorials, and it's got Rahiri on it, it's got Rahiri on it, well there was no fucking contracts with Uritikuri at that time, with them and Rahiri. You see, the fake illusion, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing this out so that I can jam the fucking thing down your throat, Kingy. I can jam the whole lot down your throat, because I'm sitting on the whakapapa of Rahiri here, Kupe and Bui. I'm sitting on Pakia version from Britain. It's fucking different to yours, Kingy, because you're a bullshit. Your name is Edwards, King Edwards, not fucking King William. You're in conflict with Queen Victoria and the thug pirates of Rothschilds. You're in the Rothschilds, Kingy, with this fucking pound note on your head. All of you fucking chiefs up there. Except Lobo. He's the only one. He's the only one from Hori Tikuri that supported me in this history. You bastards didn't come, Kingy. You fellas went to the fucking treaty claims to settle for less than 1%. That's you fucking Maoris. You fucking Maoris are cheap. Cheap. Because it's not about the money. That's what Danny Watson said. I'm sticking to you and uh, Bundy, writer, I'm sticking to you. You said to me, it's not about the money. See? It's about the land. You got that one right. It's about the land. But where's the title? Whose title is Nati Kuri? All the Nazis are on this side, under this queen. Under the queen. Everything that's got the word Nati on it is 
subject to the king's pound note on the head. Bundy, that's how it works in contracts. If you know contract law, international contract law, contract <coughs> makes law. Law makes contract. And that's what I am. My profession is contracts make law and law makes contract. If you haven't got a contract, you haven't got any law. You've got a treaty claim, but it doesn't belong to you. It's not yours. It belongs to the park here in New South Wales. This queen settling you for 1% and less. This is 100%. So this belongs to everyone else in the world. Right now, on this first day of January 2018, I'll make this statement quite clear. The separation in powers has just occurred. The Queen is here. This is not her flag. It's the King's flag. So you're over here dancing with the wolves and you're thinking you're over here, but you've got nothing to prove it. Same 1834, that's a contract, but I don't see your name on it. And then you haven't got the 1820. Hongi Hika had no contract. And the Kuri is a different Kuri. You've got a different Kuri to Kuri, a different Waikato. You've got a male Waikato up in Ngāti Kuri. You've got a female Waikato in Te Uriau, in Kaipara. And Ngāti Whātua o Oraki, Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara has got a female Tira Waikato as their tūpuna that made your fellows Ngāti this and Ngāti that up there, treaty claims, fraud. It's a fraud. I'm making that statement here in that Marae that you people have to come and defend yourself in front of me and Lobo because we're the only ones batting for the two Manukau and Horitikuri. No one else. No, absolutely no one else. It's been advertised on the radio, in the papers, and no one can. I know where you guys went. To the Ratna meetings, Mangamuka and all those other places. To the treaty claims at Copthorn, because Pody Harris was there. He was, he's, dead, he's, he's been following the round and said it's all bullshit. He's right. He's right. Because he's sitting on British title. But he's got to make his own native court. How and he's going to do that. And if you're going to make a native court on this side and trying to act with this flag, it's not going to work because you haven't got any paper trail behind it of your own surname. That's how contracts work. One on one. Me and you. And a dog called Boo. That's the third party. Right? Anybody between me and who I talk to, Lobo, is a third party in a hori to hori claim. Right? From now on. No one can step in front of him, as far as I'm concerned, in this two party contract that I have between me and him. Okay? That's how it is. I was going to put more of Hoffman Russell in, but the more I read into the Russell family involvement with all those land agents, the Rogans included, Fairburns and all the rest of them, Wakefield, all those, they were all in the same game of selling land cheaply and making a big fat profit. Moira, that's why you are in a better position than I am. It shouldn't be like that. I should have been sitting where you are and you should be sitting where I am, in a fucking flat. Right? Rather than me sitting in a flat. 